All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Riffin in the top lane and actually perfectly 1v9. Uh, we're also either playing as a Vayne or a Tongue Kench. We'll see what it is. Okay, it's a Vayne top lane. It's actually a pretty hard counter matchup, but we're definitely going to be fine. So the uh, rune setup we're going to run is the Conqueror page. And I've also taken Transcendence here, including the Gathering Storm. This matchup is a pretty tricky one because Vayne can basically auto you literally all day straight and deny you XP if she's very smart. So um, generally like the way how you win this matchup, usually it's by playing save at level 1. Like unless you, you, you can't technically do the level 1 cheese on Vayne, um, although it's kind of hard to do. I wouldn't suggest it. We're going to be chilling out. We'll play very safe. Specifically, when we reach level 3, that's going to open up opportunities for us to, like, trade the vein. And specifically, when we reach level 6. She didn't press E. Hmm. Or she's going to flash. I knew she was going to do that. <laughs> I knew she was going to do that. I could feel it in my bones, man. <laughs> I'm so happy that I flashed there because I knew she was going to do it. <laughs> oh, man. That felt perfect, man. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so, yeah, either way, uh, usually when you play against a Vayne, it's always about like short training with her Q and then just going back right after that. It's also a Vayne that plays with Exhaust as well, which is pretty painful, like, face-off during the early game. Um, I'm not going to backport here yet. I'm trying to get the most out of it before Vayne comes back to lane. So what I'm going to do now is simply thin and out, and then we'll go back after. Yeah, you can see, you can see, like, Vayne is, like, super tilted, man. You can clearly tell this guy's trying his hardest right now. <laughs> So we're going to buy the Fage, we're going to bring uh, two pots here, and I'm going to TP now. Uh, we got to keep in mind that Vayne still has Exhaust. <clears throat> so there's that. Let's try, we shield it off so we don't take the damage. This Vayne is like focusing so much on, on, on fighting me, that this guy has literally no farm right now. Okay, he's dead. He's gonna jump to me. Yep. So, the trick against Vayne players is to directly short trade him and then turning around as soon as you get the chance, right? So, whenever they kite backwards and you're going for the, uh, for the Q, you wanna turn, walk back, and then walk back forth. So, going back and forth constantly. And as a result, she only has one E, which means that she can only, um, she can only, like, dodge you once, right? The funny thing is, I'm just gonna have to mention it now because it's just the way it is with Vayne players, guys, let's be honest. If you play against a Vayne top lane, and you kill Vayne once, they will start tilting. And the game is an easy win. Like, I'm going to bet you guys 100%. If we kill Vayne only once more, or maybe twice more, I bet you for a fact she will go AFK. She either starts trolling or she will go AFK. I, I, wa I, wanna, I wanna see what's gonna happen here. I wanna see the reaction of her. Because literally, every time I play against Vayne, they either start trolling or they start like going AFK or something like that. They either do something that's gonna mess up the game. So, this leaves me very curious to what this Vayne is going to do if I kill her once more. Let's see what kind of reaction we get out of this guy. Okay, and we got her. Let's see what the reaction will be of Vayne. Will she go AFK now? Or will she troll the game? Let's see. Like, vein players always have only one single mental. Like, and that's to win lane. And if they don't win, they don't care anymore. 
because their counter champion is basically uh yeah they basically lose with a counter matchup right so let's go for lucidity boots here i specifically want to buy lucidity boots because this provides movement speed but it also provides ability haste uh, which is something I value a lot. Like, especially in the Vayne matchup, if we get, like, a total of 20 ability haste, that's going to make a pretty massive difference. We have more ability haste, and we have boots already, so we can just run over. kill her again like we have tier 2 boots already like she doesn't even have the tier 1 to tier 2 boots yet she only has the first one so if we rush in with an extender Q we will instantly like kill her because if she ease we can just directly Q after and then just get back to her uh, pretty easily so it appears that Jarvan is back in lane sure he's trying to stop the, the wave from uh crashing in okay hmm. well I got you too so Jarvan, like, I saw that Jarvan was farming this out, and usually when they try to farm this up, usually they go back into, into the tri bush to, like, farm this out. So I've taken the opportunity to, like, ward this bush right now, and then I jumped over the uh, over the wall so I could kill Jarvan when he, when he was coming in. And if you, like, if you efficiently fast queue there, and you get the most out of it, uh, you can actually kill him directly with, like, a single, uh, single combo. Even if, it, even if he tries to run, you just turn again. So, we get, like, two kills here. We get a plate. She will probably press R right now, maybe. We could actually dive this guy on her tower, but... I don't care. Let's go for a red trinket. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Vayne is still playing the game. I'm actually kind of impressed that Vayne did not leave the game yet. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never seen a Vayne, like, playing it, like, for so long. <laughs> if you, like, win once against a Vayne, usually they just, they just leave all the time. Awesome. Take him down. Oh, Lee, you missed it. My turn to get a gank. Awesome. Now we go back to like pushing everything out. Let's see where Vayne is going to come. We're going to kill her again. Hmm. We get a plate. If she walks in, I will try to... Okay, she's dead. See you later. Okay, we have another played once again. Uh, this vein is 0-7 so far. Let's see if we can... Um, let's see if we can get like one jungle camp before we go back. And I'll try to get like another wave too. Okay. Let's go back to base. We're going to buy the Gore Chinker. I'm going to come back with... Oh. Oh, she saw me. Oh. <laughs> it's not working. Okay. We can delay. We can... Uh... Oh, man. This vein. This guy can't farm anymore, man. 
You see that? I'm ma I'm I'm making this Bane lose literally everything. Let's push this out. Bane's gonna come back here. She does not have exhaust anymore, so that's not an issue. Let's get back. I need to get my gorge in canal. Nice. Let's go for um let's go for ghost blade this game, because we're playing against the vein. Alright, quick questions. Uh should you stop maining Teemo and learn Zach if you want to reach Challenger? I mean personally? Zach? Even though it's a decent jungler, I would never suggest Zach ever. Man. It's uh, there's so many better junglers out there, and Timo. It's Timo is actually the spy. Okay, I'm gonna sound like a troll right now, but Timo is actually a very strong champion and very very underrated. I'm just gonna mention that man. Like, Teemo in itself, you'd be surprised how many Teemo challengers there are at the moment. I've seen so many Teemo mains in challenge round. Like, it's fully crowded of these people. Because Teemo is, like, over the course of, of, of like, multiple seasons, like, Teemo has evolved a lot. Like, it's seriously changed a lot. You'd be uh, surprised. Oh, I, I ulted so fast that my uh, my ultimate just flew like right through. Nice. Let's get the buffs. Could try to kill Joplin maybe. Blue buff is spawning very soon. We can place a ward down over here so we can. Oh. Okay. I bet you this Jarvan's gonna try to like steal it. How much you wanna bet? Let's see. I hope he's not gonna just steal it. Let's kill this guy. I bet you he's gonna walk through. I'm really impressed he's this guy is still playing it. Oh. Okay. We're gonna dive him on our tower. Got you again, but this time I had to use my flash to like force him. Now we're gonna take the wolves for myself. I'm gonna take this camp for myself. Not gonna steal it. Okay. I wanna try to kill Silas, but Oh, okay. I'm trolling. Let's go back to base. We are going to buy the ghost blade and we'll bring a country ward along with me. And then we're gonna go back top lane. Doing the same thing on repeat. Okay, quick mentions. Hey, one Lumumba. Hey, coming with a sub of tier 2. Hey, thank you so much for the tier 2 sub, man. That's Pog Lumumbia. Thank you so much for the tier 2, man. Welcome to the sub family. You're going, Nikobot. Hey, I'll see you later, man. Thank you for all the gifts, Nikobot. Let's go to Silas. Got Ghost Blade as well. Easy kill for us. Ooh, he's got pretty close. Like, if he actually CC'd me directly under a tower, it would have actually been um would have been a pretty uh, pretty tough one.
There's two people in mid. We're going to kill that Jovan. At least, let me see where he's going. I gotta get my, uh, I gotta get Hydra at some point. Yeah, that's not, oh. Okay. Yeah, I know you guys might be surprised. Like, what? Rivik can jump this far? But yes, it's possible. <laughs> that ball jump was... It's like such a tiny chance of making this wall jump. And I actually did it perfectly. <laughs> like, I failed this wall jump like... One... Like, I can only make it like once out of like every five times or maybe ten times. You know? <laughs> that was actually so clean. Not gonna lie. I, I didn't practice that wall jump that much, to be honest. I rarely ever do this wall jump. I never really put any practice into it, so. <laughs> anyway, let's go back top lane. Hey, Fuckshot's coming with five gifts. Man, Fuckshot is back with the gifts. Thank you so much, man, for the, all the gifts. Thank you so much. And how much I can do. Let's go back top lane. Not much we can do. Hey man, Fox Shyx, that's so pog. Thank you so much, man. Let's get some kips. I'm expecting. Oh yeah, 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 right. He's not alone, believe me. Well, you're dead. Yep. Ah, oh, you actually ran off on the edge? No way. <laughs> okay, sure. You're getting away today. Hmm. I'll kill you. Also an exhaust. Ah, oh, he gets away as well. That's so sad. Like another cash, like walking away. I got the blue buff. I'll get this one for myself as well. Uh, I think they have a general idea of where I am. Go back top lane. There's Tom Kench trying to chase us, so there are definitely more people here. My spirit is not lost. He will come through. I'm sure of it. I was sure. I was very sure about that. Man, this champion is so tanky. I'm not gonna lie. Way too tanky. I'm actually kind of glad he was able to be alive here. But I knew that there was someone coming topside because a support does not randomly start farming, guys. Let's be honest. They don't do that. Let's kill that guy. Oh. Yeah, that guy's dead. We're gonna go ball lane this time. We have like 3.2k gold at the moment. We're getting so massive. Like, we're just starting out now. <laughs> We got 3.7k uh, gold at the moment. Let's 
push another wave. There is three people top side. I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna keep pushing here. I don't think that my team needs help that much, to be honest. Oh, yeah, they don't need help. They'll be fine without me. If this guy tries to like fight me, chances are very likely that I'm definitely not alone. Okay. He is alone. Like you can, uh, you can kind of tell based on, uh, based on like if he's moving back or forth. Let's go Hydra. Let's take Grutch. Even more damage. I'm gonna TP this one. They're dead. Ooh, nice try. Oh, I'm about to get CC chain. Oh man, that's so sad. I was CC chain forever. So it turns out that side has actually killed me. <laughs> I got Jarfin walled. So Jarfin pressed the uh, ultimate on me. Then I got Vayne eat into the Jarfin ultimate. Then I get Tom Kenched stunned. And then I get Silas stunned into a Senna stun. Sure. I'm gonna stop watch. That will not happen again. What a mess this game, by the way. Alright, here we go. Let's get Baron. I'm gonna get this thing. Yasuo is on the Baron. Okay. This guy's dead. Oh, the jump is not working this time. Oh, this guy is. Oh, he's actually one feet doing it. You could make it. You could kill him. Okay. Oh, not bad, man. That ultimate was excellent. <laughs> that was really good. We can force tower here. Ooh, nice. Oh, he's gonna jump in? Okay, you're dead. <laughs> oh, he could probably still get kills. Ah, uh, it's made quite obvious. Hmm. Yeah, let's try. Yeah, nice try, you too. Trick is alive, you gotta get this thing. That's a vein here somewhere. Oh. Yeah, classic. Ah, that didn't work. Charfin's gonna walk this way. We'll kill him. Oh, man. You're not gonna escape. You really think that you're alive? <laughs> nah, man. You can't. <clears throat> Oh, 
Yeah, this is, um, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, this is quite an interesting game. Uh, it's kind of a difficult game because my teammates are having a very ter terrible time. Uh, as you can already tell. Oh, it's gonna rely on Vayne. Oh? Okay. Got this guy. Okay. Multiple kills. Let's kill this guy now. Huh. Clean up. Let's go. What a clean up, guys. <laughs> 25 kills at the moment. We're huge. We got like 5k gold. No. Oh, too bad, man. Is that really how we die? Is that really how it ends? I wasn't planning on like queuing forward. I was actually planning on queuing backwards. Because obviously, of course, I know I'm gonna die to the base, man. I'm, I'm not stupid. But I accidentally queued forward. I was never planning on killing Bane here, actually. That's not what I, uh,. It's not what I intended to do, to be honest. Um, we can buy like one more item. Kind of thinking about going for this. Personally, I don't really know what to build. We can build anything we want. I think I'm just gonna go for Bloodthirst, or just because why not? Let's go. All right, it is time to uh, get a Pentacle, guys. Let's go. I'll TP. Time has come. That's number one. <laughs> we stand no chance, not a lot like this. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm uh, taking my word back. This is not going to be a total uh, penta kill. <laughs> not happening, man. Uh, I think we need something different other than a bloodthirst. It's not going to work. I'll sell it again. I'll, I'll just get a death stance. It's better. Or we go for a chainsword. Even that's better. Anything other than bloodthirst is fine. There you go. <laughs> this will do fine. So, uh, something in my mind told me that if um, if we kill Vayne here, that we can 1v5. By trying to stand over here and baiting using this thing and then jumping over and killing Senna. Um, although, Senna is like very smart. She flashed away from me instantly as soon as I jumped over. So. Let's go for Red Pot. Here we go. We have flash, so we're gonna be fine anyway. My shield is like, oh man. This build is so nice if you have like full build. Your shield is like 2.58 seconds. That guy's dead. The CC is insane, man. Oof. Eh, I'm slow. <laughs> I'm so slow, man. 
Alright, here we go. Either way, guys, this is Riven top lane. Um, before today's YouTube video ends, same thing as always, guys. The uh, entire game was being played live on the stream, guys. There will be a link in the description. Make sure to check it out. And uh, see you in the next one. Peace.